Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Justin here, and today I've got the review for you of the Alcatel Idol 4S, a phone that has definitely exceeded my expectations after a few weeks. As you guys remember, I did review the Idol 3, and I found that to be a good, decent, mid-range smartphone, but there really wasn't anything significant or special about it, aside from its value it was providing. This year, Alcatel has come out with two phones, the Idol 4 and the Idol 4S, and this is the flagship for the company at $399. The reason why I've been so impressed is that the phone is a total package. It is built well, it looks great, it has all of the new flagship features, and it also has great speakers as well and a decent camera. In addition to that, it also comes with a VR headset and a set of in-ear JBL headphones. Starting out with the specs, the phone has an octa-core Snapdragon 652 processor with 3 gigs of RAM. It also has a 5.5 inch 2560 by 1440 resolution display and a 3000 mAh battery. I think the phone itself looks incredible and I really like the fact that they use glass on the front and back. The phone feels great in the hand and you will also find a fingerprint sensor, but I found it to be okay. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. The phone itself comes in at 7mm thick and weighs in at 149 grams, but one of my biggest initial complaints is the button placement. This year they have introduced the boom key which can launch apps with the click of a button, but I wish that the boom key would be where the sleep wake button would be placed, and that the buttons were overall just more accessible by moving it down a little bit more on the phone, as at 5.5 inches it will be very hard for many people to reach comfortably. On the bottom we will find a micro USB port, which is totally fine by my means, but I feel that with Alcatel's push into the future and including a VR headset, it would have made sense to also move forward with USB-C. Moving on to the display, you've got a 5.5 inch screen with the 2560 by 1440 resolution coming in at a PPI of 534. As you can see from the demo and what you would expect out of an AMOLED screen is that the colors are incredible. It just seems to jump off of the screen and although it isn't as vibrant as what you would find on a Super AMOLED, it is definitely up there in terms of one of the best smartphone screens and also comes in at a great value, especially when you compare it to other flagship smartphones of the spec caliber. Just for reference, the Alcatel Idol 4 has a 1920x1080 resolution display, so the flagship Idol 4S we've got here is the one that has the bump up to the 2560x1440 resolution. The phone itself ships with Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, and I really like the interface this year. I think Alcatel has done a great job in making it very visually appealing, and I have to say I wasn't the biggest fan of the interface last year, and I found the icons to be quite ugly. But this year everything just felt more fluid and a lot more like stock Android, while in the home screen there is a unique Alcatel look to it, and I'm personally a huge fan of it. Going into a little bit about the boom key, it is something that can trigger applications or functions with the click of an extra button on the middle of the phone's right side. As you can see, I have set it to Google Chrome, so by activating it, it takes me to Google Chrome from anywhere within the phone. And another great thing is you can also set it to sleep wake the phone while it is off as well. Next up, I wanted to show you guys the waves, and with the great JBL speakers that are built into the phone, you are able to control it down to the EQ, the bass, and control all the levels of your sound. A further demonstration of the audio will be later in this video. VR of course was a big push for Alcatel this year by including the VR headset with the purchase of the smartphone. Personally, I've never really been sold on VR, but I guess I'll get around to it eventually, but I still want to try what Alcatel had to offer. They have a VR store that has some 360 experiences, as well as a couple games here and there. I personally played around with it and thought it was pretty cool, but it's something that I probably won't use a lot, but in the end, it is something of the future, and it's great to see that Alcatel is trying to pursue it and push it forward. The Idol 4S has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with an f2.0 aperture and the ability to record 4K video, while the front has an 8 megapixel sensor. When taking a look at the photo samples, you can see that the results were produced quite nicely, but one thing I definitely noticed is that the autofocus on this camera is quite a bit slower than some of the others I've tested. The front facing camera also did a decent job in terms of the color balance, but now let's go ahead and talk about the 4K video. As you may notice, the image is quite saturated and slightly on the underexposed side. I also noticed that the stabilization could have been better, which also does contribute to the autofocus that I noticed in the photos, but the video performance by no means was bad at all. In the end, perhaps one of the best things about the Alcatel Idol 4S though is its audio technology. Most phones have a 1 watt speaker, while this one has a 3.6 watt JBL certified speaker featuring the Waves audio app that I showed you previously. For some reason, a lot of companies still have their speakers located on the back, 
while some have it located on the front which is awesome, but what Alcatel has done here is taken it to the next level and had the speakers integrated to the front and back sides on the left and right side of the phone. The design is almost ingenious in the way by tapering off the glass front and back slightly and just allowing a little bit of room for the speakers to seamlessly fit in and disperse sound through both sides. Here's just a quick sample for you, but I think it's fair to say that this is one of the best audio systems you're going to find on a smartphone. I used to believe we were burning on the edge of something beautiful, something beautiful. Selling a dream, smoking mirrors. When it comes to the battery life, I had this phone for about 3 weeks total and I used it the most during the first week, then I got busy with the exams and everything, and then I came back to this review. But at 3000 mAh, that is a very respectable size, but you also have to keep in mind that it has a QHD display, and the reason why the Idol 3 had such a good battery life is because it didn't really have that much to power. The Idol 4S still gave me a pretty respectable battery life though, with the screen on time hovering around 5 hours at its best. This phone is also supported by Quick Charge 2.0. But now it's time to wrap things up with the Alcatel Idol 4S, and although it did take them multiple months to start shipping this phone, I really hope that a lot of people have the chance to pick this phone up and check it out before making a decision on what they would like to purchase if they have managed to wait this long. At its price point, it offers quite a bit with a 16 megapixel camera, a fingerprint sensor, great build quality with glass on the front and back, a QHD display, but most importantly, some incredible speakers that you pretty much won't find on many phones at this price point. Aside from the terrible button placement, I don't really have much to complain about this phone, and I'll have to admit, I wasn't really expecting that much out of it, but it is now one of the phones that I would be recommending the most to people over the next few months. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and a huge thanks to Alcatel for sending us out for reviewing purposes and I'll see you all in the next video.